Ready? Yep. How many pairs of shoes does a person need to go to Yosemite? <laughs> many. Okay, so I think that's most of the stuff in here. I have to like present so they have to look nice. Um. And those are I'm driving in. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> If I can live in a tent in the woods, I would. I think you definitely have to have personality for it. Like you can read a paper, you can like look at equations, but you don't really understand the physical processes going on until you do go in the field. To me, it's very important if I'm gonna be a scientist and an expert on the topic of hydrology and fire ecology, I definitely have to have like a natural feeling for it. And so walking around, you get to see firsthand what's going on. Sixty percent of California's water supply comes from the Sierra Nevadas, which is a fire-prone watershed. Most people are afraid of fires and think of fires as very destructive. Fire suppression has been occurring for a hundred years in Illuit. And in 1972, the park restored the natural fire regime, so any fire that has started was allowed to burn. looking at a lot of hydrological variables such as soil moisture and we're looking at snowpack that's why we have cameras each day we get four images of the landscape and then we can calculate the snow depth what we consistently see is three winds increased stream flow more resilient forest which results in less catastrophic fires and more biodiversity and I think those are pretty big wins because California needs all three of them. It's kind of hard to talk about wild areas, but then also like disconnect it from property damage. I don't want to extrapolate it to the rest of California where there's a lot more fuel density. If a fire does happen, it can become catastrophic. Just as a legacy of many, many years of fire suppression. You're not going to hear, oh, there's a fire, and now I have abundance of water the next year. Long term, we're entering this crazy future climate. Pretty much every model agrees that it's going to be hotter. So when we think in that context, any kind of resilience that we can get out of our landscape is beneficial. As a state, we have to do everything we can. So this is one thing that can help maybe alleviate some of the bigger issues.